Aww, so cute. Look at all these babies. Today we'll meet all these baby animals and find out what they're called. So tiny. A baby alligator is called a hatchling. Look at his little teeth. Alligators are reptiles, cute little reptiles that hatch from eggs. Alligators break out of their eggs using the one tooth they are born with, an egg tooth. It's like a little horn on their nose that they use to tap on the egg. A little later, the egg tooth goes away and they get the rest of their teeth. Rawr! This is a bear cub. That's what we call baby bears. Baby bears are born during the winter, usually in pairs, each cub weighing about a half a pound. But we usually don't see them until they get a little bigger. That's because they don't come out from the den until springtime. Mama bears hibernate when it gets cold. That means they sleep all winter. Before winter, mama bears eat a lot and get chubby. They don't eat the whole time they're hibernating, even when they have their baby cubs. Then they wake up in the spring and are very hungry. Little cutie! Cows and bulls are called cattle. And when they have a baby, we call it a calf. When it gets big enough, the calf starts to eat grass or other plants like corn. Why are cows chewing all the time? We call that chewing their cud. Did you know that cows have four stomachs? They pass their food from stomach to stomach, chewing it up again each time. That's what chewing their cud means. Ooh, look at his little spots. This is a baby deer. We call it a fawn. A fawn takes its first steps within 20 minutes after it's born. Fawns stay quietly hidden while their mother forages. Their spots help them stay camouflaged from predators. Most baby deer are born with about 300 white spots, but they lose them after their first winter. Look at all these baby fish. These are called fry. Fish are very small when they hatch from eggs. They grow bigger in stages. A baby fish is called a fry when it can eat on its own. When it gets a little bigger, around the size of a finger, we call it a fingerling. Hello, little foxy. What an amazing tail you have. A baby fox is known as a kit. We also sometimes call them pups or cups. Foxes are part of the dog family. Foxes use a pouncing technique when hunting for food. They hide in tall grass waiting for something to jump on. When the prey comes close, the fox hops up and pounces. Ribbit. Baby frogs and toads are called tadpoles. These animals are amphibians. That means they spend part of their life in the water and part of their life on land. Tadpoles have gills and live in the water. When frogs and toads get older, they lose their tails and grow legs so they can walk on land. They have to grow lungs too so they can breathe air. So cute and wobbly. This is a foal, a baby horse. A male foal is called a colt and a female foal is called a filly. But don't confuse a foal with a pony. Ponies are not baby horses. They are just very small, even as adults. You can tell a foal from a pony by looking at them. A foal has long legs, a small head, and a slim body. A pony has short legs, a thick neck, and is very strong for its size. Hey, wait a minute, that's a human baby. But that's okay, humans are animals too. We call a brand new baby a newborn. Infants are babies around two months to a year old. When they start wobbling around, learning to walk, we call them a toddler. Uh-oh, now they're really getting into trouble. Guess what's in that kangaroo's pouch? A joey. That's what we call baby kangaroos. It's also what we call baby koalas and opossums and wallabies and wombats. Actually, we call all baby marsupials joeys. Marsupials, like kangaroos, finish development after they are born. These tiny babies crawl up into their mother's pouch and stay there until they are ready to face the world. Quack, quack, said the baby duck. What did he say? Oh, he said he's called a duckling. Soon after ducklings hatch from their eggs, they leave the nest. Early one morning, their mother leads them to water. The ducklings swim around in a group together with their mother, learning how to catch things to eat. When they're around two months old, 
they're able to fly away and find food on their own. <laughs> who, who is that? It's an owlet. That's what we call a baby owl. Owlets start off small but grow up quickly. Most owls are full sized within eight or nine weeks. Owls have a large head with big eyes and a flat face. They can turn their head almost all the way around. You can't sneak up on an owl. Owls also have a keen sense of hearing and sit and listen for their prey. Now you know what we call these baby animals. Which little baby did you think was the cutest? And which animal babies should we talk about next? Let us know in the comments. Now let's go watch another video about animals. You get to pick.